Welcome to Related Rates Example 2 by Conceptual Calculus. In this video, we use the procedure introduced in the previous video to solve a new related rates problem. Snow plows cleared a parking lot and left the snow in a pile shaped like half a sphere. The snow is melting while keeping the hemispherical shape. The radius is decreasing by 2 inches per hour. How fast is the volume decreasing at the moment when the radius is 6 feet? We have information about how large the pile is and how fast it is melting. The basic quantities are the size information, radius in feet and volume in cubic feet. We start with these basic quantities and get to their rates of change later. I'm going to name the radius r and the volume v. Next, I need an equation describing how the radius and volume are related. There is a simple formula for the volume of a sphere. The snow pile is only half a sphere, so it has half that volume. I'll keep some key information on the left and move to the next step, differentiating both sides of the equation with respect to time. This requires implicit differentiation, which is an application of the chain rule. We treat v and r as functions of t. When we differentiate r cubed, we get 3r squared, but then we have to multiply that by the derivative of the quantity inside the cube. That gives us 3r squared times dr dt. The next step is to solve for the thing we were asked to find. The question asked, how fast is the volume decreasing? The volume is v. So to find out how fast that is changing, we want dv dt. The equation already has dv dt alone on one side. All that is left for us to do is to cancel the threes. Now we substitute the given values into this equation to get a value for dv dt. At the moment of interest, the radius is 6 feet. To substitute in the rate of change of radius, we need to convert our 2 inches per hour to 1 sixth of a foot per hour. That puts all lengths in feet, so we have consistent units. Note that dr dt is negative because the radius is getting smaller. This gives a negative rate of change for the volume, which makes sense because the volume is also getting smaller. Next, we check whether our result makes sense. We have already noted that we have the correct sign, which is encouraging. What about the magnitude? The melting process takes more snow per hour from a larger pile than from a smaller pile, so the rate at which the volume decreases will gradually slow down as the pile shrinks. We have found the instantaneous rate of change of volume at the moment when the radius is 6 feet. Later, with a smaller radius, the volume will change more slowly. The instantaneous rate of change that we found is not the same as the average rate of change over a period of an hour, but it is likely to be close. Let's find out how much the volume decreased over an hour, starting when the radius was 6 feet. At the end of an hour, the radius had decreased by 2 inches, which is 1 sixth of a foot, so the new radius is 5.833 feet. The change in volume over that hour is 36.7 cubic feet. That's a little less than the instantaneous rate we found of 37.7 cubic feet. We expected that because over the course of the hour, the rate of change of volume is slowing down a little bit. The last step is to state the results in terms of the question, with units. If the question had been, what is the value of dv dt, then dv dt equals negative 37.7 would be a fine answer but it wasn't. The question was how fast is the volume decreasing? So that is the question we answer. We write, the volume of the snow pile is decreasing at a rate of 37.7 cubic feet per hour. Now we are finished. For another example using related rates, see our next video. Thank you for watching Related Rates Example 2 by Conceptual Calculus.